All right, you guys, take it. You got your three millimeter Depron foam with your MiG 29 Ultra Micro, which we'll be using the Micro Striker parts and electronics. So let's get started here. First, we'll take and cut off this excess foam. I already taped the plans down on the sheet. Make it a little easier to work with here. It'd be the same cutouts as the Micro 29 for the Ultra Micro P51. So again, we'll start by cutting out our prop. Just a simple straight cut. Now I'll take and put a 45 on the back side, same as the other build video. You'll notice all my builds are pretty much the same, whether they're 70 millimeter EDFs or just these little ones. Here we got a cut out for our prop. Now we're going to take and cut out the main airframe. And on all your leading edges, again, make sure you do a 45 toward the front of the plane. I'm going to do a slight little curve on this, maybe a little less than a 45 on the nose, which I'm just going to freehand it. Now it's all straight cuts back here. Well, that's 45 the uh, tail. Again, it's all the same cuts from the other Micro MIG the P51 parts. I put a 45 on all my leading edges. Now let's go ahead and do all our straight cuts. it for the main fuselage.
saw. Oh, Forgot the sides. Both of them. plans you want to take and put a we're gonna take and put a a little dihedral in this one so I'm gonna take and cut halfway through the foam you got your slice there all we're gonna do is give it a little dihedral upward not not much basically what, what the slice is there once you glue it it'll go back to the dihedral you're gonna want so let's take a little CA foam safe glue Once I cut the dihedral, just run my finger down that line. Get the excess glue in there nice. As you can see, I always do all my cutting on carpet. Alright, let's take and put some tape on there. Like I said, just you want it to bend up. Don't want to force it, just Close up that gap that you cut with your straight blade. There you go. Got a little dihedral in the plane. So moving on, <clears throat> next step go ahead and cut off your aileron, just like in the last video. on your plane. Can I just mark the very edges? You can just take this aileron and flip it right over to the other side. They're both identical. Go ahead and match it up to your foam. Mark the edges of it. All right. Fill that in.
All right, now we're going to go ahead and 45 those ailerons. So here's the front of your plane. Put your ruler and cut toward the front of the plane. Same on both sides. I'll go back and just straight cut these edges. Alright, now we're going to tape on those ailerons. Oh, actually. Alright, now you can see where your 45 cuts were. Now you just want to take both these pieces and, and just line it up there. You're taking off that little excess 45 cut and back cutting the 45. up where we want it. So we got our aileron. Same thing with this piece. Take where you cut your 45 and just back cut it. You got your ailerons. We got our little dihedral. Right. Moving on, we'll take and cut out the KF airfoil. Just cutting both of our KF airfoils out of each side. Now we'll go back over here to our sheet of foam. Take and simply mark the edges. Come in with our ruler, trace them out.
Again, these are both the pieces for the KF airfoil. Again, you want a 45 toward the front of the plane. Then straight cut the back of your KF airfoils. Here. And if you have to, you can line this up on there and make sure you're making your angle cut the right way. So, over 45 like this. You want both pieces to be a mirror image of each other. Now just your straight cuts. And we've got both of our KF airfoil pieces. Go ahead and cut the nose out. Again, this is all just straight cuts for the bottom of the canopy. I'll go ahead and just freehand the top. Go ahead and leave that piece on for now because you're going to trim it back when you install your motor. There's your canopy. I always use hot glue on these. Seems to work the best. You're guaranteed it's never going to break in that spot. have our dihedral Get taken cut off the access the KF airfoil I'm not taking my time here I'm just trying to get this video as short as possible so I know there's probably gonna be a part two all right now we're taking cut off one of our rear elevators And 
This elevator has a thrust vectoring system. Alright, so again, just line it up over your first cut you made. So, trace out all your corners. Flip it over and do the same thing, it's the exact same piece. Oh, my glue wasn't done drying. Hmm. Glue on the pin. To try this again. Sorry guys, kind of slow and sloppy today. Head cold. Let's trace out our pieces. glue wasn't done setting up so my glue keeps getting on my pen. Oh well, we'll let's roll with it. Alright. These are two separate pieces here. What you want to do is get in here and cut out these first. Gonna freehand some of this stuff. There we go. Now you gotta do your 45 on the front of your elevators. Always make sure it's a 45. Again, another 45 cut. You want to stop right in the middle there. Back cut 45 on that piece.
45. Alright, now we want to back cut those 45s. Attach these on here using some scotch tape. We'll cut it out in a minute to make clearance or should I just get it put together right. so again you just cut out little pieces for some clearance in here Alright, now you want to go ahead and add a piece of tape to that right there. Take and cut it, some of it off. Go ahead and add some tape there. So there we have our elevators. So we got a little rubbing. Go back in there and cut out a little bit of it. Alright, moving on. Taking cut out our rudders. Our vertical tail fins. Again, just straight cut. On the top. You're going to want a 45 at the bottom. I'll just take and freehand the rest.